Hi everyone, it's me Lina again. Welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you a lot for checking my videos out. And even despite the fact that there is still a war in Ukraine, I would like to make this video about uh, me staying in Poland, what I actually do here and so on. So I already told you in previous videos how it was quite difficult to get here and we had to like go through a few countries and so on by bus. And well also of course I still like am really worried about my relatives and so on and also yesterday actually my brother and my mom decided to go back to Ukraine and I probably need to tell you this as uh, a city that I'm from it wasn't really uh, being like a bomb uh, like uh, the civil buildings haven't been uh, bombed so I guess you can say that it is semi safe place for now but of course I'm still super worried and I was worried when you know uh, three of us left Ukraine uh, my mom my brother and me because we left my dad there uh, also uh, our pets and other relatives too you know so it was just very difficult decision for me though I actually was planning to sort of apply for a UK visa previously before um, the war actually uh, or let's say before 24th of February when this uh, full um, you know invasion actually started and yes yeah, so I sort of had to deal with that and I started sort of even like um, working on some documents let's put it this way and uh, yeah so I decided to go because my husband he lives in London and I mean this is what or how it was planned to be so uh, we came to Poland three of us we were very tired because again you know we stayed like on the border with uh, Hungary for like um, eight hours it was super like long trip also by the way we didn't receive like stamps I mean I probably told you this already in the previous video so it was quite uh, interesting you know, with all those stamps and how uh, different countries responded to the situation with Ukrainian refugees or people uh, fleeing Ukraine. Uh, so in Poland, of course, I was all, you know, I was uh, like very worried about this UK visa and I started, you know, uh, you know, researching and uh, seeing what I need for it. And the thing is, as the site wasn't working properly for like, uh, I'm not sure maybe more than a week let's say and I was very worried I already even uh, managed to uh, get my um, well our actually marriage certificate and so on uh, translated but yeah it still like took me so long to actually upload finally documents to the site so it was mostly all about it for me here of course uh, first like two days when we arrived we were very tired and of course uh, Thanks to my husband, we were able to really have a nice rest because we uh, um, we stayed in a good hotel. I still am here, well, and yeah, it was like really nice. But of course, we tried to sort of you know do things. Even my dad, when we called him like every day, he would or every evening he would say, "You should visit stuff. You should see some museums, some places to sort of get yourself distracted." I would take some pictures too and apparently I uh, you know uh, taking some pictures it can be a bit um, not such a great idea because apparently some people find it offensive because it's um, the war is going on in Ukraine and I can understand people feeling like that I can understand this anger because honestly when I was um, there in Ukraine I was like scared not only scared but also super angry and I had different like emotions changing constantly uh, yeah, so I don't think it's time to judge each other and Ukrainians should be strong as strong as our army is and I really believe in Ukraine. I uh, I think that, you know, uh, Ukrainians are just, you know, us Ukrainians, we are strong people and, you know, glory to Ukraine, you know, a Slava Ukraini and yeah, I just you know try to stay positive though I try to distract myself uh, still you know because I think it is important especially since I actually had uh, anxiety very badly uh, prior uh, to the war like uh, one year well, well almost one year it was a bit shorter I guess because I started having anxiety and panic attacks uh, in March uh, last year so I've been feeling very bad already and you know all those um, you know situation obviously you know 
the situation escalating in uh, Ukraine and of course the war itself it made it all uh, worse and uh, you know also this feeling of guilt right now because I feel like I'm in a safe place and I know how it feels like staying in the basement with your relatives praying and you know just you know not being able to do much obviously too so I know how it feels like of course uh, there are areas in Ukraine that are very much more dan dangerous let's say uh, you know because it was closer to this area where the actual uh, fightings were happening let's put it this way but yeah still uh, you know I feel like I can understand uh, this you know feeling of like well I was I was scared when I was in Ukraine I was angry and yeah all this spectrum of uh, different emotions uh, if I may say so or aspect of emotions this is you know all you know was very real let's put it this way anyways uh, you know with my family with my brother and my mom we managed to have quite a few walks you know in Russia we saw scenes there are lots of uh, you know like big buildings and modern buildings in Russia of course lots of different old, uh, old architecture historical places in old town what we call Stary Miasto uh, what Polish people call it you know uh, so there are lots of interesting things also all together when my husband actually arrived a few days ago we also went to the museum Copernic uh, well actually yeah uh, I would say Copernic Museum, um, I don't remember the full name of it and it was really interesting, there are lots of like uh, interesting things to see and you can interact with things and it's just so curious, you know something to uh, get yourself distracted and I think it is amazing if you came if you actually flee from Ukraine with kids, I think it is amazing opportunity to see things because uh, this museum is free for um, Ukrainians currently and I'm sure that there are other museums that might be free too so actually I think that this information might be important and I think there are lots of things to do with kids if you uh, flee or uh, if you you know came from Ukraine um, you know so yeah I think Perhaps people uh, should try sometimes to distract themselves and live their life to do something that will make them, you know, happy, I guess, uh, slightly, you know, feel better and so on. Well, I mean, I really enjoy, uh, you know, Poland because I just remember how great it is. I actually studied in Poland. Uh, I mean, I probably studied already in one of my previous videos. So, uh, yeah, also we had cakes few times just because I remembered how great you know all that sort of things are in Poland I mean yeah uh, they have lots of interesting dishes also we actually went to uh, quite a like um, supposedly cheap restaurant it is called um, Mleczny Bar I think and it's like really cheap place where uh, everything is so affordable uh, I went there with my brother and my mom and we had like some Polish soups and stuff like that it's actually very very affordable so if someone is you know like um, looking for something like that I uh, think you should just google you know Mleczny Bar and see what is you know what they got there so uh, we were actually um sort of trying to you know to distract ourselves and we even went to shopping center i wouldn't say you know i feel like you know all this bragging maybe about all this is not right at this period of time but for example me i didn't have many tops and well to be fair i needed something already i bought something that is quite cheap there are other things and i don't know i feel like i constantly need to um see what is like or sort of uh, maybe filter what is wrong what is good because people are quite you know not judgy I can understand those the ways I feel but you know I don't think that buying something like inexpensive and something that you actually need is wrong even at this period of time uh, so yeah I mean uh, we try to enjoy actually Poland as much as we can also we uh, actually my husband and I we went to another museum that I thought it was like a freedom museum but it wasn't it was just because the name of museum sounded like freedom the word to me but apparently it was just a museum of certain area like in Poland but I still found it quite curious so yeah uh, we just tried to you know to do scenes, to you know, to see scenes. Also, to be fair, we have been resting quite a bit, 
I was really tired physically after the trip when I first arrived uh, and so my relatives were uh, my family and actually also I was very tired mentally I um, still take magnesium because it really helps me you know with my anxiety so yeah but I really feel like you know all those walks all those scenes it's worth seeing it's worth you know just you know going to places um, yeah so also of course I have been just you know stressed about this UK visa thing and I hope everything will you know uh, work out and so on I actually prepared for lots of documents so did my husband and as I said we had to wait for so long because there was something like wrong with the site I couldn't upload documents and the rules were changing constantly so uh, yeah well I'm still like waiting for a reply for an answer even though I received like the answers that they are looking into it they are like already um, seen my application and going through it uh, so yeah well uh, just let me know uh, if you like videos like this one and if I should film something like this honestly now I constantly feel guilty for being in a safe place and then of course you know uh, it doesn't help when people actually tell you you shouldn't like take selfies you shouldn't do this uh, maybe there is something in it that I shouldn't do that and uh, yeah so I think everyone every Ukrainian right now they try to do as much as they can they you know lots of people I help actually you know uh, doing something actually like um, cooking for example for um, people who are refugees from like other cities in Ukraine also there are people who are actually helping armies there are lots of different people some people just donate money so it's all very different and of course some try to spread information as much as possible and in the way they can uh, some people I noticed are like very good in writing and they can just spot all those things they want to say quiet, you know. For me, I used to be able to do that, but for some reason, whenever I start even uh, talking about something in my TikTok videos, I rather get too emotional. So, uh, yeah. I think everyone just tries, you know, to do um, their best in this situation to live their life you know um you know like right i guess so yeah let me know what you think and thank you a lot for watching my video thank you a lot for your support and really your support means a lot um to all the ukrainians actually and to me personally so i thank you don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and give this video thumbs up if you like it see ya do 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 do